Hey guys and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Today's project we're talking about intake manifolds for the LS motors. <clears throat> so as you know I've got an 01 uh, C5 Corvette. Uh, starting in 01, even the base models that had the LS1 uh, motor in them, even the base LS1 got the LS6 intake manifold, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, the LS6 intake manifold is considered one of the better flowing uh, factory intake manifolds uh, from GM. So if you have a stock LS1 uh, with the LS1 intake, the LS6 intake manifold uh, is a nice upgrade, typically some power available. But since I already had this, of course, the next question is, is there anything that's better? Uh, and of course, there is. So I don't have one uh, as an example here, but the fast uh, series of intake manifolds uh, are very nice. <clears throat> and they're proven to make uh, substantial more horsepower throughout the power curve, that sort of thing. Uh, but they come at a price. They're typically pretty expensive. Uh, even if you find one uh, pre-owned, uh, it's typically um, fairly pricey. So, what we have here is a Dorman LS2 intake manifold. Now, I know probably your first thought is, wait a second, the LS2 factory intake manifold wasn't that great, didn't flow as well as the LS6, <clears throat> so how could uh, one from Dorman uh, be any better? Because Dorman is not a performance company, typically they're just a, an OE replacement type um, of replacement part. However, what's pretty cool about the dormant version of the LS2 intake manifold is that, so these intakes uh, have a, an upper shell and a lower shell, and of course they're, they're uh, seam welded uh, together. The dormant LS2 uses the same lower shell as the FAST92 uh, intake manifold. So, <clears throat> you get a lot of the benefits of a FAST manifold but for a fraction of the price because it's a Dorman piece. The other benefit to the Dorman LS2 is that you can run a 90 millimeter uh, throttle body versus <clears throat> with the, the LS6, this is just a 75 millimeter uh, throttle body opening. So if I hold these up together, hopefully you can see that. You can see this is substantially larger. So talking about throttle bodies, so what might you run with the LS6? Well, I had, uh, this is actually an 80 millimeter uh, BBK throttle body, uh, which is pretty good, about as large as you're going to get uh, on an LS6 intake manifold. However, <clears throat> of course, you're going from 80 millimeters down to uh, a 75 millimeter opening. So you have this throttle body spacer that reduces it uh, from 80 millimeters uh, down to 75. When you go to the Dorman, like I said, you can run a 90 millimeter throttle body. So typically most guys go to the LS2 uh, 90 millimeter throttle body. So this is just a factory uh, GM throttle body. <clears throat> it's important if you're buying a, one of the 90 millimeter throttle bodies so that it works properly with your computer and you don't have um, issues, make sure you get what they call the silver blade uh, throttle body. So this throttle blade is actually silver the other version is typically called a uh, gold blade. So this came on the LS2 and some of the early LS7s, I believe. The gold blade version came on the LS3 and some of the late LS7s. I believe that's correct. So in particular, uh, you want part number uh, 1257-0790. Like I said, this is a GM uh, throttle body. You'll also notice that the throttle body motor is on different sides <clears throat> and the LS1 type uh, throttle bodies you have two electrical connections one's on here and then one's over here on the LS2 throttle body uh, you just have the one electrical connection so you need a wiring harness adapter to go from your <clears throat> wiring harness that's set up for two connections uh, to one so that would be, uh, there's a couple of companies that make these, um, but Casper's uh, makes this. It's an LS2 to LS1 uh, throttle body wiring adapter, uh, part number 108115. Uh, and not too expensive. I think it was in the range of 30 bucks, give or take. Um, but you'll need that to run the LS2 silver blade throttle body. <clears throat> 
Uh, one other thing I'll mention, so the bolts, right, so the LS1 or LS6 uh, throttle body is a three bolt, so you got two on the bottom, one up top. The LS2 is four bolts, two on the bottom, two on the top, pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Which means if your throttle body doesn't come uh, with bolts, because you're probably going to buy this uh, from somebody as a takeoff, if they don't include the bolts, uh, you'll need new bolts. They are the same bolts, uh, at least thread pitch, uh, between the two intake manifolds, but they are also different lengths. So <clears throat> you need an M6 by 1.0, that's the thread pitch, and then you either need uh, 40 or 45 millimeters. 40 would be the minimum to get all the way through the... Uh, through the throttle body and into the uh, intake manifold uh, or you can use a 45 if you plan to put uh, a washer or something like that on the front of it. You can buy those individually or what I did, um, Amazon sells these but you can get a little kit and they get a variety of um, of lengths and I always like to have extras, uh, spare parts, that sort of thing. Um, but these are all M6 by 1.0 and then they just range in size from 35 to 55. Uh, millimeters in length so that might be an option for you uh, if you need those bolts <clears throat> alright so let's talk about a few of the other differences so one key difference uh, is where the map sensor mounts on the intake manifold let me see if I can get this where you can see it so on the LS6 uh, intake manifold the map sensor mounts here in the back on the dormant LS2 You've got two options. So what I'm going to run is the map sensor. Get this where you can see it up here in the front. That's really where it's set up uh, to run. To do that, uh, your wiring harness won't be long enough. Again, uh, this company Caspers makes an, uh, an extension. Uh, it's a map sensor, 26 inch uh, extension harness, uh, part number 109080. Uh, again, that's not very expensive. But what you can do, if you're so inclined, uh, back here in the back, there's a boss here. It's not drilled through, uh, but there's a little uh, stamping here that says map sensor and points to this. Uh, you could drill this out and mount your map sensor in here. <clears throat> and we'll talk about this here in a second. But um, as it comes from Dorman, there's a, a stud here uh, that allows you to... Uh, Put a screw down and hold the map sensor in place uh, it would look like uh, what's on the front up here um, the reason i'm choosing not to run my map sensor in the back uh, one i didn't want to drill this out because then i'd still have to get a block off plate uh, for the front because that's an open port but the other thing <clears throat> as we'll talk about in a second when i get the intake over to the car the cow uh, this sits back under the cow uh, below the, the windshield, the post that sticks up here hits that plastic cowling. So you have to shave this down uh, to begin with. So you can see I've already shaved it down pretty uh, significantly. Uh, not to mention there's very little room to work back there. If you look at these two intake manifolds uh, side by side, so the LS6 cuts off behind this back runner right cuts off at this angle the Dorman LS2 has this little section over here that sticks out further to the rear than what the LS6 does and this is taking up some valuable real estate um, so I chose like I said to mount my map sensor at the front I just felt like there was more room to get to it um, less interference in the back I figured that would be um, a good thing so I went ahead and shaved this mounting post down uh, so I don't have any clearance issues um, also back here in the back, take this tape off, <clears throat> you've got right. You've got a, a rubber hose. Uh, this is a vacuum port that goes to your brake booster. Uh, so both the intake manifolds have a port back here uh, to run this hose. <clears throat> what the Dorman LS2 intake manifold does not have uh, that your LS6 does is if you can see it here, there's a, a nipple here. It's a quarter inch nipple. Um, that's also a vacuum takeoff source. 
uh, that runs your HVAC controls. <clears throat> that does not exist on the Dorman version. So what you can do, <clears throat> I just went to Lowe's. Let's see if I can get this at an angle that you can see. But I bought a uh, barbed fitting. So it is 1 8 MPT threaded, um, male threaded on one end and a quarter inch barb uh, on the outlet. <clears throat> so now I can plug in that vacuum uh, hose to the back of this um, and run my HVAC controls. <clears throat> and I, this is where I chose to mount it. You don't have a lot of play and where that um, little connector can reach to. Um, I saw some guys, uh, some one guy ran it all the way over here. Um, I didn't feel like I was gonna have enough uh, length in that connector harness. Uh, for the vacuum line to go all the way over here so that's why I chose to mount mine here but do give some consideration uh, to the things that are running back here test fit this a few times uh, to find an ideal location <clears throat> before you drill and tap uh, to do that like I said uh, that was uh, a 1 8 NPT uh, fitting uh, so if you need it you can buy these on uh, Amazon but it's a, a 1 8 27 NPT um, uh, tap so you can uh, tap the threads in there.